Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Brianna and if you're new, welcome. Um, and today I have a haul. Originally it was just going to be the items I bought in the Sephora VIB sale, but then I realized that I do kind of have some other stuff. I have some Stony Clover um, and a few other like random goodies. So we're going to get into it first with the Sephora stuff. I'm putting this, the disclaimer out right now. I am still waiting for two more Sephora orders, so I will probably tack on to the end of this video, whether it's like vlog style or whether I'm sitting down again in like a different outfit and like look different because I am, I want to get everything in this video, but I also want to put this stuff away so that I can, um, so that's why I want to film the video now so I could like put everything away. So just letting you know. Okay, let's start with Sephora. So I went into the Sephora sale knowing that I was gonna be spending a lot of money. I was itching, I had like not shopped the first like two weeks of April um, in lieu of like saving my momentum for the sale. There were some things that I needed, um, which are in the other hauls, like some restocks. And then there were just some things that I really wanted. Um, so we're going to get into it. I have a nice little box of goodies. Um, and I filmed like TikTok. So some of it, this is like opened. Um, but first up, it was definitely a rare beauty Sephora sale for me. Um, I got a lot of rare beauty stuff. Well, I got three things. It's still a lot. Um, I got the positive light silky touch highlighter in the shade Flaunt. So it comes in this pretty little like muted pink compact and it is their gold highlight. I have not touched it yet and I really don't wanna mess it up. And it comes with the little mirror inside. I was like not impressed when these were released and I really didn't want them, but then I saw people using them and I was like, okay, they do actually look really nice. A lot of people have been putting them on their eyes as eyeshadow, so I will test it out like that. But I, Selena Gomez hasn't let me down yet, so I'm very excited. Also in the Rare Beauty Highlighter Realm, I got the Positive Light. Oh, I got the Positive Light Liquid Luminizer in the shade Mesmerize. So this is like something that I was definitely like originally going to get. Um, cause I just wanted a liquid highlight. This is a ginormous tube. It is very large. Um, and this is a rose gold highlighter and she has the, cl it's the classic rare beauty applicator with the little dip. And I've seen people mix this in with their soft pinch blush, which is how I want to use it. But I haven't had a good liquid highlighter aside from Charlotte Tilbury. I haven't had a good liquid highlighter since Charlotte Tilbury in a while, so I'm excited for this. And then rounding out the Rare Beauty collection is the Soft Pinch Blush in Virtue. So this is one of her limited edition shades that were just released, and it's like um, a rosy brown. So very pretty or it's like almost like orangey I don't want to swatch it because I don't have any um I don't have any napkins or anything and I don't want it to get all over um but I do actually have a video clip that I'll insert here of both the liquid highlighter and the soft pinch blush swatched on my hand so I'll insert that but um yeah I just really wanted another shade I have a few shades of this it's the best liquid blush I love it so much so needed to add to the collection <sighs> yep that's it so then in the cream blush world I saw somebody on TikTok using I, I saw a few people but one person really sold this um to me and it is the Westman Atelier baby cheeks blush stick and I got the shade petal and I love a blush stick and I have been, if you have been following me on my blog, um, which is royallypink.com, make sure to go read. Um, I have literally thousands of blog posts, but I have been on like my cream liquid blush and beauty product game since like 
2014. Like I love a good cream product and I always have. So it's like strange that I didn't pick this up originally like when it was first released but I don't know I just like kind of had no desire to even look into this brand but as people are like doing I don't know as people are like recommending products this came up a lot it's just like the most beautiful I'm like try I'm on cinematic mode on my iPhone and it's just um messing with everything a little bit um but it's like a beautiful like normal I don't know why I'm doing this blush shade like super like just rosy and I'm so excited to use it we have the magnetic closure it's very sleek packaging it's very nice then the last like beauty product for right now is I have I am 30 years old now and I have been using retinol for a while maybe since I was 25 um, and I've gone through a few different retinols, but I kind of wanted a more targeted treatment for the retinol that I, I don't know, I just wanted like something a little more specific. I'm using the Glossier Retinol right now. I really like it, but I am, have noticed fine lines, um, right here. I've had like the My 11 lines cause I squint a lot, um, and I make a lot of frowny faces. So I've noticed that right here is kind of getting a little finicky so I picked up the Peace Out skincare retinol stick and it's literally encapsulized retinol so you could see it's like a bomb and you literally just rub it where you need it to go so um I read a few reviews on it um before I bought it but we'll see how it works out it says in the evening after cleansing and moisturizing gently swipe over the entire face and neck avoiding the eye area apply spf in the am because you should always use spf <sighs> oh you should always use spf after using retinol because um it makes you more sensitive to the sun so i'm excited to try this out Ooh, we'll see how it goes then the big thing that I got is in my large pouch and it is the Shark Flex Style. So I haven't announced this anywhere yet. Um, and like, I'll do like a more like formal thing, but I am moving out soon um, and I'm getting my own place, which is crazy. So I've needed things that like are shared amongst me, my mom and my sister, one of them being a hair dryer. We all have very thick, long, crazy hair. So hair dryers are important in our household. Um, we have like four of them right now. We have a Dyson air wrap. We have a, the dry bar double shot. And then we have like two regular blow dryers. Um, but I personally don't like the air wrap. I don't think it's, I mean, nothing, it's not worth $600. I mean, I figured that from like the moment that I saw that price, but I personally don't like it for my hair. It dries my hair incredibly fast, but I, the, uh, the learning curve is just too difficult for me. Like, I don't know how to use it. And I, have watched videos and I've tried a bunch of different ways and I just like simply don't know how to like curl my hair with it. We do have the short barrels, like the original. So maybe with the longer barrels, it would be better, but I just simply like, I don't, I don't like it. So I had before, I think like last year when the Shark Flex Style came out, I was toying around with the idea of buying it, but like wasn't sure like I didn't really need it blah 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 so now that I'm moving out and I needed a hair dryer of my own I was like okay I'm either getting the shark flex style or I'm just gonna get the dry bar double shot again which I still love um but with the sale and the fact that shark is now sold at Sephora and it was like just in time for the sale I was like fine I'll try it so this is and I could like do a more in-depth video maybe I'll do like a hair drying tutorial but this is the barrel. You have the um, 
this is the heat settings this is the on button and then this is the fan speed um and then this is the cool shot so you could you hold it like this for all the attachments but you could there's a button back here and you could twist it and you could use this as the blow dryer which is great um it comes with the smoothing attachment so you just and you could like smooth your hair and then you get the one of the reasons that I was like okay I'll get this instead of the dry bar because they because it does have the big barrel brush which is looks pretty much just like the dry bar it's probably a little smaller but the oh my god there's literally hair all over because I've used it a few times but there's the on the Dyson it has this tiny roller and it's like I have a lot of hair I need to be able to dry it so I was happy that this is kind of what sold me on it the fact that it was so big then you get the paddle brush which is also really nice the one thing that's annoying and I don't know if it's mine if it's just mine but it moves and I don't know if it's supposed to do that so that's something to look into um and then you have the two barrels of the right and the left so it's like the right side of your hair the left side of your hair so these are a lot longer than the um Dyson so I've tried using it before um and it works a lot it works better but there is still a learning curve so I do need to like kind of take my time with it and we'll see but so far so good I definitely do recommend it if you have longer hair and you do want kind of that air wrap vibe um if you're just looking for a blow dryer then I mean this is I mean it is pretty good it dries my hair very fast which is always wonderful and much appreciated but, and also the one thing about the air wrap versus the shark, the air, the Dyson air wrap, I always felt gave me no volume. Like I felt like my, like my hair is pretty flat right now. Cause I had it, um, I washed it on Sunday. It's now Thursday and I, I let it air dry. I didn't put any product in it. So it's a little flat, but with the air wrap, it would be like my hair would be straight or like be like voluminous down here, but it would be so flat and it looked funny. And this gives you more of a blow dry feel, like as if you had gotten your hair done at the salon and it was like voluminous and full and really beautiful. It takes a smidge longer than the air wrap, I would say, to like actually dry your hair, but it's like maybe in a few minutes it's not like a half hour it's not even 20 minutes if anything it's like five to like eight minutes longer so I'm really excited about that I'm excited to kind of experiment with it more and I'll report back but that's everything right now for the Sephora haul let's get into two little random items and then we'll go into Sony Clover so Papier is and I don't know if I'm saying that right it's P-A-P-I-E-R um they're my favorite, new favorite notebook brand. I've been using them probably for almost like, maybe like over a year now, maybe even longer because I do have some Disney soft cover notebooks that I bought when, um, I think during the pandemic, when they did like a collab with Disney. So I have been using them for a few years, but now I'm like only using them and I'm obsessed. So I use them for my workbooks, my work notebooks, and I needed a new one. Um, so I got this adorable pink notebook. It has, I love these like fashion figures. Like I have a few of them in my room. Like you could see it, it's up there. I just love them so much, like fashion illustrations. So you have a beautiful little illustration with like houses in the back, this cute little lady and she's walking her dogs. Um, it's Emma, it's a collab between Emma Block. Um, and then I just put Estee Lauder on it because that is where I work. So just to know that it's my work notebook and it's just regular lined paper, but they're not too big. They're not very heavy. Um, they're like perfect for note taking. They fit in most bags. I love them so much. And I do really prefer the hardbacks 
don't know why usually i like a soft cover notebook but for these i like the hardbacks and then they also have a wellness journal that i have been using for the past year this is my fourth one um so i have been getting different colors so i got like last year i think i got um and i have them i've saved them but i and i like to put the um seasons on it so i have like a full winter 2022 um full 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 winter 2022 then winter 2022 slash 2023 for like December into like March ish and then now I got spring summer 2023 and they literally just came in the mail so you have like a little like quote and then you have space to write down like all your thoughts and then you have like some feel good goals and then this is what a day looks like so you put did they change it it looks this feels bigger maybe they changed it. i have to compare but you have on one side you have like your intention for the day you could say how much sleep you got what activity you did any self-care things you did or want to do your meals your water intake and then here you could do your mood um tracker what went well today any thoughts and feelings and then what you're thankful for and I like to do these in the morning set my intention for the day and then I like to do them at night I have not been very good at keeping up with it the past maybe few months I've kind of been in like a weird wellness funk where I, I don't even like working out like I've just been like weird um so I'm hoping that a fresh new notebook in a pretty purple will motivate me a little more so prepare the absolute best notebooks i love them so much now stony clover first up we'll do a quick sample sale um haul i did not go to the sample sale my sister did not go for me like she did last year and i didn't buy anything from the personal shoppers i honestly just wasn't impressed by anything a lot of juicy um a lot of i don't even know what else it was a lot of juicy and like I think other collections that I like didn't oh a lot of homecoming and just like wasn't impressed by it but then what they did have was an online sample sale the week after on 260samplesale.com and they had like a very small selection it was mostly scrunch handbags backpacks and like a few colors that are um like going away like lemon and lime and I think tie dye um so I did really I wanted a scrunch handbag I have two I have a white terry cloth from the summer collection last year and I have a camel one from the homecoming collection which I use constantly but I wanted another one just because I like it's like an easy bag to take with me when I'm running errands if I don't want to bring like a bigger bag it's just a nice bag to have which I'm kind of upset about because now I kind of think now that they're getting rid of them so who knows maybe they're just getting rid of stock I'm not sure but I got a sapphire nylon scrunch handbag now this is not as scrunchy as my other uh as the camel one I think probably because it's a sample sale so this might have been a sample so it's not as scrunchy which is a little, little irritating but it is what it is zippers fine um you fit so much in it I also am not a fanny pack person so the Sony Clover fanny packs don't do it for me I'd much prefer like a regular handbag it definitely does not feel as nice in in terms of the nylon as the stony clover pa pouches and the other scrunch handbag i have so maybe it was like a bad batch or something like that but i'm happy to have it it is a little strange i'm not like super pleased but it was like also like 80 percent off or something like that um yeah so excited for this and i don't think i have anything in sapphire it's my first i think it's my first thing i think i have a clear flat pouch that says snacks on it and sapphire and that's it but the navy blue is actually really beautiful um but now i just got i just got a stony clover order um from the latest summer collection um or i don't even know what it was called what um oh sunshine state of mind collection um this was a collection that did like spark my interest Ooh. 
Um, but I didn't really need anything. The colors were very pretty, but I did get what I wanted. So this is like a true unboxing. It literally just came. So we have the new um, folders, which are so cute. I'm not a fan. I don't like spring and summer. They're not my favorite season. So I usually tend to like skip out on a lot of the Stony Clover collections that they put on um, during these months. It's just like not my fave. Um, but this one I, I liked. Um, so we have the postcard, very cute, SCL09, and it's blank in the back. And then I got a sheet of stickers, which is different because they usually just send you one sticker, but these are cute. So we have that. I love these. I love collecting the folders and the postcards. I do, like, if I am selling Stony Clover, I try to include um, one but I just do like to collect them. So we have the classic iridescent little dust bag with the iridescent paper. And I got two things. So first up we have the pouch. I missed out on this last year and I was just so upset. It's the medium insulated pouch. This is a new pink. Ooh, it feels strange. Um, what's it called? What is this pink called? Mm, it doesn't say. I don't I forget what this pink is called, but it is literally insulated, so it's a cooler, which is so cool. Literally, so cool. Um, it's a beautiful, like tr true tropical pink. Like this is stunning. It's it, it, I would almost say it's a cross between flamingo and lilac. I think that if you combine flamingo and lilac, that's what it would be. Um, so here it is against like a purple notebook, which I think is pretty close to lilac. But yeah, it's super cute. I do like the medium size. I wish they would make the medium size permanent in regular pouches. Because sometimes it's like I want something bigger than a small, but I want something smaller than a large like this is like the perfect size pouch holy hell i'm excited and it's insulated so i mean this is even good for like if you have medicine that needs to be refrigerated and you put an ice pack in there or if like you're gonna bring your lunch or like you don't have to just use this at the beach i love this oh my god i'm so excited and then this is something that i've been hoping that they would put out for a while and when I saw it, I knew it was a definite need. And this color is gorgeous, but it is an eyeglass case. This is a purple color. I would say this is a cross between, this is like slightly more purple than periwinkle. Let's see, let's compare it. So this is purple. This is the, this is like a regular purple. This is paradise. So beautiful. Here it is against like high tea, which I would say is kind of periwinkle. So you could see it's really, really pretty. And I, and they did like a few different, um, like tutorials, I guess, or examples showing you what fits in here. But I have like, I needed an eyeglass case just for my eyeglasses because I like don't have any. So this is so cute. I love that it's clear on one side and then just nylon on the other. It's like, easy it won't get dirty I mean it will get dirty but it won't like it's just nice it's nice and lightweight too and it's like a good size it could like I think fit in a lot of bags but there's also still a lot of space and you also obviously don't have to just use this for sunglasses I can imagine you throwing like a lipstick or like a little thing of travel Advil or anything in here and like being on your merry little way but this is so pretty I love this color so yeah, so those are my two sunshine state of mind purchases. Very excited. I really want them to make a medium pouch. It is like strange because you could hear it crinkle, but it it holds its shape really well. Oh my God, I love this. I don't know if it's still in stock. I'll link it below if, if they are. I think this also came in pink, um, but I really wanted something in paradise. So I'm glad that it had this. But yeah, that is my haul for right now. I will now insert a clip um, of the rest of my Sephora haul.
Okay, so it's a small order, but still worth mentioning. So I got the wildfigbomb.com. They repackaged it when they launched at Sephora, and then they brought wild fig back um, as permanent uh, flavor. But it's now packaged like a lip balm because it has like the little tube instead of this is just an old one, my lavenderbomb.com um, that doesn't have the lip balm applicator because I think they realized that people weren't probably using it as a universal solve and were probably just using it as a lip balm and they wanted it to be more accessible, which I think is fine because I do hate putting my fingers on here and then to my lips it's just gross so I'm excited to have this and actually like looking at it I was a little concerned when they first announced it that it was going to be like funky looking but it's really not like the cap is a little stranger obviously because it's bigger but it's really not it's really not that bad it's still like it's still an aesthetic I'm still really feeling it um but I have not tried it yet so we'll see so then I got for the first time in years the Drunk Elephant Debronzy Bronzing Drops. I got this back in like maybe whenever it was first launched, maybe like 2016. Um, and it was in a like squeezy bottle. It was a lot bigger than this. This is really tiny. Um, and like bomb.com is bigger so that's crazy but they've been out of stock literally for god knows how long and i they were in stock when i was placing the order so added them to the cart and they arrived and i'm excited to have them back i love an anti-pollution beauty gimmick um and i'm excited to have it for the summer i'll mix, mix it in with my moisture um with my spf and it'll just be a nice little addition then I got the Jisoo Honey Infused Hair Perfume. Now, I bought this years ago and I really didn't like the smell and I actually returned it. But then when I got the um, hair oil, I really liked the smell. And then I tried this in store and I really liked it. So I decided to just pick it up. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to use it as a hair perfume, but I will definitely use it as a regular perfume. And I'm very, very excited to have it. This is just a refill of my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. I got the travel size because it lasts a while and I just like the fact that I can travel with it and not have to worry, but this is my old one. So you can see it's pretty much on its way out. So, but I, that's why I haven't opened this yet. And then this little baby. I had gone back and forth for so long if I was gonna get this and then finally I was just like, screw it, I'm, I'm gonna bite the bullet. It's the Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadow in Space Cowboy. I've heard about this for literal years. I just swatched it on my hand. It's like a champagne-y sparkle, but I know a lot of people just sweep it across their eyelids and have that be the look. And that's kind of what I've been going for lately. And especially with the summer, I think this is gonna be like, heavily in my rotation so very excited to have it very excited that everything from my sephora haul is here and we can wrap this vlog up pass brianna back thank you so much for watching please like comment subscribe i'll link everything down below if it is available make sure to follow me on instagram tiktok um, Pinterest, the whole nine yards, sign up for my newsletter and go follow my blog, royallypink.com. And I'll see you next time. Bye.